Started in 2009, the Arbor project is a 7 million euro initiative, 50% funded by the Interreg 4B Northwest Europe programme. It is led by Staffordshire University in the UK and involves 13 partners from the UK, Ireland, Germany, Luxembourg, Belgium and the Netherlands. Within the hub we are responsible for the evaluation of many different biomass fuels to determine their calorific value, the samples being provided by the project partners throughout northwestern Europe. This project has had a positive influence on the take-up of biomass within the Staffordshire area, with Staffordshire County Council taking a leading role in the integration of biomass fuel into the local economy. Um, we started the project uh, four years ago um, to start to generate fuels uh, and upgrade to a fuel locally, uh, fitting into a local market. We harvest trees by thinning and occasionally clear felling areas of our holding on current chase. From the poorer grades of timber, we create biomass wood chips for use in some of our larger high schools and offices. Biomass chips are created from the poorer quality timber from the top of the tree. Thus, no extra trees are being cut down to fuel our energy needs. There has been a local market created to make use of the surplus of previously unusable wood. Sustainability is very important to the councils of Staffordshire. We are the fourth most wooded county in the West Midlands. This project will help us to manage our woodlands and to preserve the woodlands and look after them for the future generations. In our biomass installation, which is typical of many others, wood pellets are delivered by tanker into the fuel silo. A blower system transfers the pellets to the 45 kilowatt boiler. Hot water from the boiler maintains the set temperature of the 825 litre buffer vessel, which in turn feeds the central heating system and the flat plate heat exchanger that powers the refrigeration plant. Also used as a base for training on the biomass conversion technologies, the centre has been well used by all involved. As well as the heating and cooling, the ongoing research activities within the centre also provide live demonstration models, which include fuel testing, electricity generation and particulate removal. To date, over 100 samples of potential fuel have been tested under macro and micro scale test conditions. The tests include bomb calorimeter, moisture content and thermal energy production for heating purposes. The Stirling or heat engine has the potential to use the waste heat from biomass combustion to create electricity. In our trials we are using a variety of self-built Stirling engines to assess their efficiency. One aim is to produce electricity from the heat exhaust of the boiler. The performance of the system is monitored, evaluating the electrical output against the working temperatures. This generating process could be used wherever waste heat is produced. Finally, when the biomass combustion is complete, we are researching the removal of harmful particulates to reduce atmospheric pollution. Flue gases contain fine particles seen mainly as smoke. By law, a high percentage of these must be prevented from reaching the atmosphere. A unique electrostatic system to capture the particulates has been designed and built. A very efficient method of capturing particulate matter is by a process known as electrostatic precipitation. During the process, the particles are given an electrostatic charge which causes them to migrate towards and adhere to oppositely charged surfaces. Power generation companies predominantly use this process. However, the lab demonstration unit proves it can be successfully scaled down. The visible emissions are smoke particles, which are present until the electrostatic device is switched on. And then, as the charged particles collect on internal plates, the visible emissions are greatly reduced. Its performance is currently being evaluated and in early stage tests it has far exceeded expectations, achieving high efficiencies in excess of 90%. Overall, the Centre of Excellence for Biomass at Staffordshire University has been an important factor in developing a closer focus on the role of biomass as a key source of renewable energy. This combines with the work of the associated European partners to inform local, regional and European stakeholders on the potential of biomass feedstock and biomass conversion technologies in achievement of the EU 2020 Renewable Energy.